Okay, here we are with Generation 3. This trailer has a front rack on it with the battery system and the AC heater on it. Uh, there's something big and new. These are the, the new insulated doors with a deadbolt with a sliding window up and down here. So, and something really cool is a full door screen. This is on both sides. And it's a full screen door. So now the window on this comes up, goes in the lock, and for whatever reason you need to do some pass through, you can even open the screen. <laughs> anyway, uh, now you got a deadbolt, um, nice door, custom made just for us. Um, no latch, and it attaches to the door, so when you open it, it'll actually stay on the door. This is the, uh, the interior, a little bit changes, and uh, this one has a TV in it. We're now going to tablets, but uh, these are the new skylights. Uh, they're for straight from the boats, uh, big old O-ring. Uh, seal on them and uh, they also have a, uh, a screen that go in them too just like just like so that easy uh, and then they come on the screen see the other door over there um, our light system <laughs> and um, this one has a stereo in it, like I said. Cabinets. This one's got a 110 power source in it. And USB plugs with the standard uh, 12 volt plug. And just a really nice skylight now. And they're just phenomenal. Of course, they cost a lot more for us, but better is better. So, and then what you do is you just adjust this thing here, come in, latch them, and you're done. You want a little air when you're driving on the highway, you can go to the second one, and you can get a little bit of air there. O-ring around the uh, screen door. Just a nice piece. So, oh, I wanted to show you something else. Everybody's never seen this either. So, you see how this bed is? It's custom made, so there's no, there's no seam to fall into here. It's just really one mattress. Same with the Velcro. And the Velcro will be the same color, uh, the same tan, you won't see that. But the cool thing is, a little secret underneath here. You pull on this, it detaches, and we have lower under bed storage. Yes? It's deep. Seven and a half inches deep. 34 inches long and 24 inches wide. It's a lot of storage. O ring, you could turn it into, you know, an ice box if you wanted to. <laughs> if you had some fish, you want to throw them in here, not one on the back, whatever. But we use it for like fishing poles. Uh, clothing, stuff like that. Real nice. And then we have them on both sides on this trailer. You could have them on one side only and a uh, shower tank underneath. Whatever, you know. I'll show you the tanks. So you look underneath here and there's a tank and that's 20 gallons. So this space is actually 20 gallons. So we either make them in black if you want a shower tank and if you want them uh, storage we make them in white so it reflects so you can see inside it. So, how are we sinking? That's why we uh, make the best waterproof trailer there is. Okay, and then we go to the back. Here's some more upgrades. Still sticking with the starboard, but instead of another handle like this, we changed the, uh, the design and made it so you can just grab it and slide it out. 
So, real nice. Real sleek. Um, like I was saying, this one has power on it. So, you got 110 over here. And then another source of um, USB power and 12 volt power. All water um, proof. And um, we changed the sink. We changed the sink for a couple reasons. One reason is um, it's, a, it's a nice looking sink. Two, we did it because when we glassed in a sink, if you put anything metal in it, it would get the fiberglass marred up black. So we went with a pop-in stainless. Um, I think we're going to make it an option. You can have stainless or the other one, but right now it's stainless. Uh, this is newer too. This is the water fill-up for the tanks. You just pop it open, stick the hose in, fill it up, rock and roll. A little bit uh, easier instead of the side mounts and the buckets and whatever. Um, and then here is our same as the storage in the back, um, but uh, this is the ice box. Now our ice box is um, insulated with two inches of foam, sprayed in foam around it. Um, big ice box. Uh, for those who know sizes of cans, it's 64 cans, I believe, fit in there. That's pretty big. This one's getting ready to go to Washington. So, so you can see it is all spray foamed in. And then there's our pumps. Easy to get to, work on. But, uh, it's just all sprayed in foam. I think that's it for the new stuff. But uh, look at these skylines. These are hot dogs. And the neat thing is, you can actually adjust them out here if you want to. But they go way up. So you can turn them into scoops. Scoop the air right into the in their sleeping quarters. Our um, AC heater, fold away um, wheel. But, uh, thanks for checking us out again. And uh, we appreciate everybody's comments. And uh, we're just uh, trying to upgrade, 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 make a better product for hopefully less money. Thanks again.